So, hello fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with a 1914 penny. And as you can see, it's actually quite a nice coin. So this is actually the fourth penny year that they were actually minted. Uh, they started in 1911 and on 1910, like the silver coins. And today we're just going to have a look at this coin, uh, go through the mintages, values and varieties. So first I'll go through the varieties. So all the varieties that have actually been found have been on this side of the coin. So this is the reverse side. And what you need to look for is die cracks around on the Commonwealth, uh, spurs and problems on N, like a, also a dot up the top of N, a dot in between the one and the four. And this one seems to have some damage down here. Under the four might be a mint error but I'm not too sure um, and also you whoops keeps on flipping it around you also need to look for any other types of errors that you can actually find so in later pennies I actually had a lot of dots a lot of cuds and a lot more of uh, errors that are not being shown in the books but you never know. Now there's something wrong with the four uh, down the bottom, on the bottom of the four. Uh, I think it might be just damage to the actual coin. But if we look at this side, you can see that this coin is actually in fine condition. And the reason why I say it's fine condition is that I cannot see any of the diamonds or dots that are actually on the crown. And to me that indicates it's actually in fine condition. And this is pretty much the way you'll find a lot of these coins that I have actually seen. And these coins are actually a pretty expensive coin. Now the reason why they're expensive is because there's 720,000 of them minted. So it's actually the fourth lowest minted coin after the 1930 penny, 1925 penny and 1931 penny and I'm talking about the ones with Commonwealth of Australia with uh, George V. Uh, there are other low mint pennies but they're in the kangaroo variety and uh, if you look at the end you can see that the bar goes straight up to in between the two dots and that should be normal for a London reverse variety if it was an Indian one, it would actually hit the dot, but obviously it is not. And you can have a look for uh, whether this coin is actually fake. So this one's actually normal, it's just got some of the patina coming off because um, of being handled. But what would the price of this coin be? So this one here, in this grade, uh, fine, you probably buy for like 15 to 20 dollars. So that's basically the it's basically the lowest um, price you're actually going to pay for this coin. If you want it in uh, very fine, you're probably looking at about 40 to 50 dollars. If you want it extremely fine, probably one to 200. Uh, and uncirculated, you're probably looking at at least one and a half thousand dollars. So it's uh, a pricier coin to get. Most of the other pennies are actually a lot cheaper, you know, like two to five, six dollars. So this uh, is a what they call a key date. So it's a date that's harder to get because of the low mintage. And where was it minted? Well, this coin was minted in London, and because Australia wasn't ready to actually mint our own coins of this denomination. And they were minted in London up until 1916. Uh, when they were outsourced to Calcutta, up until 1990, when Australia actually started to mint our own penny coins, that's after the First World War. And I would say that the First World War actually delayed Australia actually getting the equipment and technology needed to actually uh, mint these large style coins. 
So the earlier styles, like 1914, that they actually don't have as many errors as the ones that are actually minted in Australia. So the actual minting quality actually decreased because if you've seen uh, Australian coins that are actually minted in London in later periods, like uh, the 1951 Frookens, I believe, you can tell that the quality of the London coin is actually a lot better. And the same with these, if you actually compare these ones to later ones, um, you'll see that the quality is actually uh, a little bit different. And especially for the kangaroo pennies, you can definitely tell the quality difference from those that were actually minted in London. So, up until 1966, Australia actually had a problem with their minting quality. And it's really not a surprise when um, we are just trying to develop our minting quality. And I see in the early 2000s they also had a problem with their minting quality of coins. I've actually rectified that now and the quality is actually improved once again. So anyway, that is the 1914 Australian penny, the start of World War I, 1914, and over 100 years old, but readily available and also cheap. So anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. I'll leave a link down below to Australian coins, so you can look for 914 pennies, and uh, just have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Thank you, and bye-bye.